Hey, what's up? I am going to put an oil cooler into my Turbo Lexus. And I also have an oil pressure gauge and an oil temperature gauge. And all of this is eBay. So, shit. So this is very simple. This goes where your oil filter used to go. And then this goes where the oil filter treads in. You tighten that down. Bada boom, bada bang. That's tied down to the engine. Then your new your filter goes here, goes there, and that's it. So oil comes in, goes in this line. This line goes to your cooler, goes through your cooler, comes back into here, and back into the engine. And then this reads the pressure. Sorry, no, this reads the temperature, and that reads the pressure. Simple. So first things first, I'm gonna take my bumper off. Now, taking off your bumper may be a little more advanced than this, but maybe it's not. Oh, maybe forgetting one step. So a super rough kind of placement where this and this goes here this goes through the gap where the headlight is and then i have them down around the intercooler piping they are uh, like a little bit too long but too long is better than too short so people always ask me why do i keep piles of fucking random scrap around because you have no idea what you could use it for my cooler here where the original power steering line used to mount and there's a hole in this i don't know what this is called like a brace for the front end i don't know and that's going to sit there like that a little bit sideways okay and now this if i can make it work it's going to sit there now, so after just one side being on, it's sitting there by itself. So I just need to get another bracket here. So here I have the bracket that used to be here. And I have bent this 90 degrees and that's it. It just works. So let me just bolt that up and let's come back. So that looks kind of mean. And now I'm going to just test fit if the bumper fits. I think it will. Maybe... No, yeah, it should be fine. So it fits. This end line is kind of touching the grill. And this... I don't know what the fuck that's called. This little bracket here. So I'm going to just notch that out. Let So this will sit in a little bit better. And yeah, that's it. So it fits. Like, if you wanted to, you could just leave it like that. It really does fit. Like, I just want a little bit more space. So this is how it is. And this is the filter you should get. It's a W77 man filter. Now that is roughly the size of an actual filter. So to make this fit, all I had to do was hammer slightly <laughs> the dipstick. Other than that, everything fit. And uh, yeah, it's all good. Now I'm gonna switch her on. And I'm gonna hope for the best. What do you think is gonna happen? Well, it's either run. one or Good two water. things. Either it's gonna... Either it's gonna blow up or it won't blow up. Something will happen definitely. It's gonna leak, man. Oh no. Man, if it doesn't leak, like it wouldn't be real. No, no. <sighs> At least I burnt it on the manifold. <laughs> so it'll just smoke off. Give it a go. Should I try this? Try, yeah, uh, hope for the best. Oh no. That's it's so, it's so weird. <laughs> it's dry, man. Dry. I think he fucking DFC even measuring the anything down there. 
If it doesn't fit, man, I'm just gonna go kill myself. Well, just start it, man. Same shit again. I'm not even joking, man. <laughs> man. How? Oh. I'm done. <laughs> Why did you even pull that shit, man? This fuck is dry, like. No, just start it, man. She won't drop oil here anyway, so if she's gonna drop it, it's gonna be down there. So at least we know it's not right. <laughs> <laughs> What the fuck, man? It was fine. I it's put the fucking filter on. Something about the fucking it's the pipe. No, no, you should have taken it out. I didn't say <laughs> Fuck this. No, we should have started. But not already fucked up now. It's just full of oil. I need to take off the filter. Yeah, you're fucked that thing. It's not the way it, yeah, it is, yeah? It's thanks to the... <laughs> so now I'm fucked. You think it's a good idea? Yeah. Best answer you could send, like, yeah, to just fucking go for that. Man, this is fucking breaking my balls. It's like day three, man. Day three, yeah, exactly that. Day three of putting on a filter, man. <laughs> fucking fitting, son. What the fuck, like? Du, 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 du. Ooh. <laughs> 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 she could go on. Just a great job, man. Uh, Some bro. Holy fuck. So yeah. If I cut the dipstick shorter, man. You don't actually need dipstick, man. Man. I mean, you need now because fucking how much oil is gonna take? Ah oh, fuck. So I hammer it so bad, actually. <laughs> Camera on the top. Smash. So we think. We think we have it. So underneath the car, we run it like that. And then this side goes underneath the engine mount and around and joins up that way. This one comes from the front and comes that way. There is no space for the temperature, I mean the pressure sensor, but I can put the temp sensor in here and at the top at another time run the pressure sensor until then i hope we can set this up and it doesn't leak shit. <laughs> if it leaks man i'm just killing just, i don't know man. not gonna lie i'm pretty nervous man i hope everything's tight that would be so great imagine like start to work fine no leaks well, I'm crossing my fingers, man. Yeah. yeah. Last time when, when I'm doing it, when I was doing this video, it was fucking pissing oil everywhere, all over the place. I think your battery is dead. I think so. <laughs> Maybe the block is seized, man. Oh man, don't say that. <laughs>
Yeah, it's like 50 degrees now. I think it's fucking mint. <laughs> uh, there's a little bit of a leak on the bottom of the oil filter. That is fucking warm though. I think I should put a fan on. Like another. I think with the fans on, it's gonna cool it all down a little bit. 